Since I lost my job welding cars, I thought I'd get my truck driving license and get my money on the open road. So when I applied for a truck driving job for moving compressed helium from California to Maine, they asked me if I could drive a truck. Well, when I said I could, they, they gave me the keys. And this truck's a beaut with a bed of nine cylinders of that precious helium. I hear there's only so much helium on Earth, so I really had some precious cargo to haul. Now, since I love driving and know how to weld, I rented the tools and bought the tubing. And after Arizona, I had my rig set up so I could do helium hitch while on the road. I mean, I had nine huge tanks of helium all compressed. It, it was like workers' comp. <laughs> you can always skim some off the top. They won't notice. So, this made New Jersey and Texas really fun. <laughs> and I ignored the winds sweeping down the plains of Oklahoma when I had my helium. But after Missouri, through Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, the cops always pulled me over for erratic driving. But I can't let go of this helium high. The cops would ask me for paperwork and I'd happily comply. You seem to be driving erratically. Have you slept recently? Yes, sir. I'm just so excited. I, I love this job. And the cops looked at me funny before writing me a warning and sending me on my way. So I'd always look at my clock radio and limit my helium puffs every time I saw a good looking seat cover in a passing car. But those highs were few and far between, so I'd check my clock radio and add puff every seven minutes. But when my helium hospital decided after only seven seconds, and I still had seven states before I could deliver my remaining helium, well, that's when I drove north instead to go through Michigan and, and leave my life in this country with my precious. And yeah, I, I'll miss my family and friends, but I've only scratched the surface with my nine lives of helium. And really, that helium high is worth the world. Thank you.